Hey guys, welcome back. It is Dirty Max LML. Well, today we're going to be putting together an Intex inflatable hot tub. Now, I've had three regular hot tubs before. This is going to be my second inflatable hot tub. The last inflatable hot tub that we had was a Coleman hot tub. Now, if you guys want to see that video, I'll leave a link in the description below. But for right now, let's go check out this Intex hot tub and I'll show you how we put it together. All right, let's go check out this hot tub and show you what this thing is all about. So this is the Intex inflatable hot tub. Now, this hot tub cost us about $650. This one is a little bit bigger than the Coleman hot tub that we had previously. So the Coleman came in at 77 inches in diameter. This one's coming in at 85 inches in diameter. So it's a little bit bigger. So as you can see, this one says it's designed for up to six people. Now, I don't think it's really six. This is kind of more like four. And the one that says that it's for four people is really more for like two. They're a little ambitious on the sizing. So uh, just be aware of that. All right. Okay, it looks like there's a couple different ways to install this. So you take this piece here and you slide it down back here. And there's a little clip and you want to pull that up, lock it in. And now this thing is going to push out air. So let's go ahead and connect this to the hot tub so we can inflate it. So now, like last time, we're gonna do the rigidity test. Pretty damn solid. So just like the last one, in fact, I think this one's a little bit firmer. Right here, there's a little ball and you can fit a tablet in there so you can put your chlorine right in this little thing and I'm imagining this is going to float. So that's pretty cool. Now these are the filters. Now there's two filters that come on here and basically you just screw them in. There you go, that one's on. Let's put the other one on, it goes over there. But this thing actually comes with LED lights. I did purchase some. Didn't know it even came with them. There's three AAA batteries. So we're gonna put that in here and we're gonna lock this down. Once you lock it down, make sure you tighten it. And as you can tell, there is some colors here. So we'll wait till nighttime and we'll show you what this thing really looks like. Well, these videos do take a lot of work, so make sure to smash that thumbs up button and ring that bell for any future videos. Let's continue. Okay, so something really unique. This thing opens up like a Tesla, man. Okay, now that we've tightened these things up, you just want to get them hand tight. And then you can take these Tesla wings and fold them down to protect this from the sun. All right, so here we have it. As you can tell, this cover is really thick. So this is going to hold in a lot more heat. We never actually had trouble with the Coleman holding heat ever. It always got to 104 degrees. It didn't matter if it was summertime or wintertime. It did not matter. So I could definitely tell that this is gonna hold a lot more heat. So it's probably going to make this a lot more energy efficient. We're still not fully charged up with the battery. It doesn't look like it's still charging. There is a lock right here. So if you got some little ones hanging around, you can lock this up so they can't make any adjustments. Right now it is 2.53 and uh, I'll let you guys know tomorrow what time this thing got hot. Here it is, the Intex hot tub. We are now at 104 degrees. I'll show you the little LED screen here. showing you that it's at 104 degrees. Now, we put this together yesterday. It did take 18 hours for this to get hot, which was the exact amount of time it took for the Coleman hot tub to get hot. And that one was a little bit smaller. So this one does have a lot more water. I believe it's 290 gallons of water that this thing holds. So you can see the little ball back here and that ball has the chlorine tab in it. Right now, let's double check the bubbles. Uh, 
That's nice. Let's hear the motor. This is a lot quieter with the air bubbles on than the Coleman. Turn the bubbles back off. You can pull this off, place that back down. Don't forget there is an app for your phone and it works with iOS and Android. So if you're at work, you're having a long hard day and you're thinking to yourself, I wonder if my hot tub is still hot right now. You can pull up the app, make sure your hot tub is hot so that when you get home, your hot tub is working for you. We haven't had a hot tub for about a week now. So we have been dying to jump into this thing because we use our hot tub almost every single night. Don't forget these things pump themselves up. All you need is this little unit here, which it comes with and you plug it in and these things pump themselves up. So you don't need to worry about having an air compressor or anything like that. These come self-contained. All you need is water and a beautiful woman and you're gonna have a great time. A lot of people have asked me, do I use chlorine tablets? No, I do not. I've had better luck with these Brom tablets. So these are one inch Brom tablets. This thing will last me quite a long time. I use about one tablet per week. There is this smelly good stuff. I don't use it very often. You only use this stuff if you don't like the smell of the Brom or chlorine tablets. If your hot tub is smelling funny, it means that you need to change the water. So don't just mask the smell with some smelly good romance. You need to change the water. So we change the water about once a month and that's a little excessive, but we use this thing almost every single night. You need to keep up on your maintenance. It does come with a pH kit. Look at that, it looks like Mickey Mouse. So you got your extra gaskets on the Coleman hot tub. We had to change those after about one year. So I like that they actually came with some extra gaskets. It also comes with a patch repair kit. So there's two different colors, which I like that. So you don't have a mismatched patch. Also, don't forget a skimmer. You're gonna need a skimmer with these units because of the location on how low these filters are set. So you're gonna get stuff that's gonna lay on the top. A lot of things will blow in the air. You'll have the little tiny things floating on the top. You need the skimmer. Go in there, skim it real quick, make sure it's nice and clean. You always wanna check these filters about once a month. Make sure that these filters are nice and clean. Otherwise, you will get a code. So the filters are super cheap. You can get them on Amazon. I'll leave a link down to those below. I also have some questions for you guys. Have you guys had better luck with the paper filters or the foam filters? Let me know. All we're doing now is waiting for nightfall and I'm gonna show you guys what these LEDs look like. As you can tell, uh, we're wrapping it up tonight. I'm in the hot tub right now. We've actually been in here for many hours, played some cornhole, had a really good time. And you can tell that there's multiple different colors from the LED light. And you can actually select it to stay on one color or you can have it go through all the different colors. So it's really nice. If you guys have any questions about this hot tub, leave a comment below if you guys like this video make sure to click that thumbs up button this is dirty max lml you guys have a good night